Hey guys, uh, this is a, um, a new tutorial series. Basically, this one is going to cover mono game. Um, now, if you don't know what mono game is, it's basically, if you've ever heard of XNA, um, it's basically a cross-platform implement implementation of XNA um, that a bunch of guys got together and were like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we made XNA able to be on Mac, a Linux, PC, PlayStation Vita, um, even the new uh, Ouya uh, Android console, um, and Android devices, as well as uh, OS uh, devices, uh, iOS devices, like iPhone and stuff like that. Um, so basically, it's it's become very popular uh, nowadays. Um, if you see, uh, there there are some um, pretty popular games, Fez. Um, uh, Bastion was ported using Mono Game, so it's pretty popular. Now it uses C Sharp, um, so if you don't have any any background in C Sharp, uh, or if you have a background in Java, you should you should be able to easily learn C Sharp. But to download it, uh, you go to Downloads, um, and depending on what platform you're using, you're going to need some requirements. Uh, for Windows, of course, you're going to need Visual Studio, but if you're working on a Mac, you're going to need Mono Develop. Um, and to download it, you just download here the latest stable. You'll click that. It'll bring you here, and then you uh, it'll tell you recommended downloads. And if you have uh, these are probably the two. If you have Mac, um, a Mac device, you, uh, you should probably use Mono Develop. Otherwise, use uh, use Visual Studio. Um, so when you download that, uh, it'll download. Um, you know, it'll be an installer. I'm gonna cancel since I already have it. Um, and then once you install it, if you go to New Project and go to your templates under Visual C Sharp, um, you'll find Mono Game. And here are all the project templates um, for a mono game project. Now, as you can see, mono game Ouya project, a Windows OpenGL project, which I'll explain in a second, a Linux, Android, a mono game applications for Windows, etc. Now, for Ouya and Android projects, as well as iOS projects, which you don't see here because I'm on a Windows machine, you need to actually have a license with something called Xamarin. Now, Xamarin uh, is basically quite pricey. Um, if we look for indie developers, uh, it's three hundred dollars, and all you get are deployment to the to the device, Xamarin Studio, and unlimited app size. Um, and for well, it was kind of crazy for nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Um, you get Visual Studio support and a bunch of other really awesome things. This is what will allow you to actually um, to build C Sharp code for Android and iOS devices. That's why it's so pricey. Xamarin's like a uh, pretty much the only supported partner with Microsoft and Visual Studio that allows you to do that. So if you have the the money for it and shell out and you're really serious about app development for Android. Um, you might want to think about getting this but for now we're just gonna uh, go here now what project uh, should you pick well all my I'm using Windows machine so all my projects are gonna be uh, Windows OpenGL project now why OpenGL well the reason the way they were able to make this cross-platform was essentially instead of using DirectX which they do have a DirectX uh, um, backend for this called Sharp DX. Um, Sharp DX is a C Sharp implementation of DirectX. Uh, however, OpenGL with the Tau framework um, was able to, or OpenTK now now it is, um, was an OpenGL implementation in C Sharp that allowed for uh, writing OpenGL programs using C Sharp that could run with Mono Develop on multiple platforms. 
Um, so that's why pretty much the standard now is uh, to use well OpenGL for for the mono game projects. Um, so let me show you an example. Call this mono game tutorial one. I'll create a new project. Now you'll notice at first this this things are strange. If you try building, you'll it'll fail, etc. Um, you'll see this sdl.dll. Basically, uh, this is a old reference to the SDL um, library uh, that they had probably initially, and they never took out. So what you have to do is you have to like delete it. Um, because it's a bad reference. Um, and now it should run fine for you. Now, what you might get, by the way, is you might get an error saying missing open AL. What that is, is, uh, you'd have to go to open AL and you'll have to download this. So you have to go to downloads. Um, and you'll have to download the uh, OpenAL um, installer for uh, technically for Windows. This is Mac OS, but um, yeah. Yeah. OpenAL installer. So basically, what this will do is if you download this, right here the OA install and you install that then um, that that will solve the problem the reason is uh, because in order for them to have some form of uh, ability for you to do, you to do audio in your games they had to use since they were using OpenGL for the graphics library they had to use OpenAL as an open source um, audio library uh, so yeah so um, I don't know if you're familiar with XNA, this should look pretty similar. Um, you have draw, update, unload, load content, initialize, and the graphics device manager and sprite batch. Now, uh, that's about it for the this tutorial. Um, uh, it's kind of short, I know, it's just an introduction, but. The next few tutorials are going to be introducing you to uh, 3D techniques because I, I think um, a lot of people know 2D pretty well or have seen tutorials and we'll run into 2D aspects in our 3D tutorials um, anyway so you'll get you'll get a mix of both. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.